Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now, often when I discuss constexpr and noexcept, I'm asked the question of, well, why in the world can't the compiler just do this for us or tell us when this can be done? And it turns out that basically every compiler needs to know whether or not something can be constexpr because it has to be able to automatically determine this for the case of C++ 17 lambdas. And also every compiler that's going to do any kind of real optimization around exceptions must also be able to know if a function can throw an exception and could be marked no accept or not. So it turns out that we are starting to get tools that can tell us these things. And in fact, at the moment with Visual Studio 2017, if you've got the latest compiler installed, you can get some pretty interesting feedback from the analyzer. So I have Visual Studio up here, and as you can see, I have a simple add function, multiply, and just this calculate that calls the two of them. And we're going to go ahead and run the static analysis tool. Now, I, I give a lot of classes on C++ to Visual Studio developers often, and many of them aren't even aware of the static analyzer that's built into Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and execute that. So I'm going to hit Analyze, and I will say Run Performance Analysis on this solution. And as you can see, we have the output window here. And it tells us, add can be marked constexpr if compile time evaluation is desired, add can be no except, and multiply can be constexpr, and multiply can be no except. And in fact, that is completely accurate. We do have the full definitions of these things available. They're declared in line here. Let's go ahead and mark them constexpr. Now, unfortunately, as far as I know, there is no ability in Visual Studio to automatically go ahead and do that particular action. We can see what our quick actions are here. And really, it doesn't seem that there is anything built in. But let's just go ahead and do the no except const expert like it asked us to, or like it suggested that we could. So we've added our no except and const expert on these two functions as it suggested, and we'll go ahead and run the analyzer again. And now it sees that the calc function could in fact be const expert and no except because it is calling those two other functions, which are themselves const expert and no except. So this is a pretty interesting tool. I suggest that you give it a check. I am not aware of any other tool that can give us this yet. It's just Visual Studio 2017 with the latest compiler. And this also doesn't give us any guidance on no discard. And this is the kind of thing that has been discussed a fair bit, and I've discussed it in conference talks and such, that it would probably be an error to call this function add and not use its return value. So we can go ahead and also mark the no discard attribute on here, which we may as well go ahead and mention since this is a C++ weekly episode. Now I can run this analysis again. I don't expect to see anything different, but there you have it. Um, we've got some ability to automatically detect when functions could be constexpr and no accept. So thank you for watching this episode, and I hope you liked it.